Hello all, welcome to rawtrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create an agent based on a deep link tool to navigate to the requisition page in Oracle Fusion ERP. So this is the agent we'll be creating today. Uh, wherein you can observe here, we are providing a requisition ID as an input, and it provides a deep link URL for us. Once you click on that, we should be able to navigate to the requisition page. So let us see the steps now. So there are four steps involved. The first thing is the independent deep link we have to create. And then we have to assign that deep link to the tool. And then we have to create an agent team and then the agent work. And these are the simple four steps needed to create a deep link agent team to navigate a requisition page. So let's see this first one, the deep link object. So here, what we have to do is once you navigate to the deep link page and you should click on plus add. And here you can observe here, select the family product name and the code will be auto generated provide the relative url and make sure that you refer th this particular url for the purpose of navigating the equation page and the input what we are passing is the one which i mentioned in the flower braces or curly braces requisition header id and you can observe here we provide the parameter name, description, the data type, as well as sample value. So this is the initial step of creating a deep link. Once this deep link object is created, we have to assign this deep link to the tool. So you create a tool of type deep link, mention the tool name, code will be auto-generated, mention the description and assign the deep link which we created and you can see the message this is how it will appear by default you can change it this is second step wherein we are creating a deep link tool now the third step is agent team we know this is a parent in the oracle ai agent which is the initial component which gets invoked under the agent team you will have a worker agent and the respective tools and topics all those things in the agent team, you just mention the details and make sure definitely have to mention the appropriate security role. Once you assign the security, then you can create the agent worker and that's it. Our agent is ready. And this is probably this is how we'll be designing now. So to run an agent, you just click on this particular arrow and it provides the input. You just provide the trade question ID as an input. You should be able to see the link. And once you click on the link, finally, you'll be navigating to a requisition page like this, okay? Now we'll just navigate to the Fusion instance without any delay, so. Okay. So now here, you can observe here. So I'll just navigate to the existing deep link here and I'll just click on okay. And now just run this page, run this agent. And here it is asking to provide and I have a list of requisition numbers as well as requisition header IDs, which I got it from my OTB report. I just provide the input like this, requisition ID as an input. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. It generates the link, the deep link. Let's see that. You can observe here, they can view the details of requisition ID by accessing the following link here. Just click on this one and you can observe the requisition header ID, this one. And the number what we're expecting is 203-664. Let's see what does it display. 203-664. This is a equation which was created based on this header ID, right? So now we'll try to work on this particular agent. So quickly we'll just, what's the first task? So assume, okay, assume that you're in a Fusion ERP instance. What I'll do is I'll navigate from the starting. So I'll click on home. And how do we navigate agent studio? Just need to click on tools, AI agent studio. And this is a deep link object, which I was talking about. Okay, first you have to create a deep link. Then you have to assign the deep link to the tools, which I was talking about the next step. So first step is go to the deep link. And here I click on this plus symbol and you select the family as procurement and self-service procurement. And here you mention the appropriate name. Let's say I'm working for Tata projects, I'll say TP. Requisition, TP requisition, deep link. And it generates the code automatically. So now we have to provide the relative URL. So I'll just get it from my notes. So you can observe here, this is a relative URL, which is a Redwood URL. And you can provide the description. 
recreation page. Requisition page. And you can provide the description also here. Requisition details. And the data type is integer. So you select this appropriate data type here and select the value i mean provide the value i'll provide a sample value so now the deep link to the deep link object is almost ready just click on create and let's see if it gives any error yes it is perfect and you can search here tp request deep link we are able to see this one right and observe here tp request deep link is ready now the next thing is we have to assign the deep link to the tool right click on tools click on add now I'll say deep link and here TP deep link tool. Okay. And here I'll say deep link for the requisition page. Now here we have to assign the deep link which we created in the first step. You click on this add button and search for that. So hopefully it should be there. TP requisition deep link and click on add. So here. The second step is almost done. So TP request deep link is done. Next step is click on agent teams. Click on add. Now here provide the name TP requisition deep link agent. Okay. I'll just go with the procurement self service procurement. And I'll just go with maximum interactions as 10. So this particular interaction limits the number of times you can invoke your agent in a particular session from that specific user. Okay. Red position. Deep link. Now, LLM, nothing to change. Questions, nothing to add. Security. Yes, definitely. Click on add. And let's try. Procurement manager. Now click on create our agent team is created right now we have to click on this particular icon you just create a worker agent now click on this worker agent whenever you create a worker agent then only you can add up the relevant tools and topics so i'll say tp requisition deep link worker agent same thing family procurement product self-service procurement and i'll just go with 10 as of now Recreation deep link. Okay. Now click on create. So when you create the rec the worker agent, it automatically provides the list of tools and topics which you can add up, right? Now here in this one, you search TP and let's see. So what you have to do is you have to click on tools and then search TP. You should be able to find TP deep link tool. Just click on plus symbol. Click on add. So it is almost done, right? So our particular deep link tool is added here. Now the next step is you can just run the agent now. Click on debug. And now we just provide the requisition header ID. So I'll just select this one. 203670 is the requisition which we may have to get it once it executes successfully. Let's see that. So it invoked the DP deep link tool and let us see whether it provides the result or not. Right. So it provided a result and you can observe the link. Right. Just click on this one and let's see which particular equation it shows now. Right. 203670. This is a request which you are expecting, right? So, this is how we can navigate uh, to a fusion page via deep link logic in the agent. Okay, thank you.